right? Plus M. He's been coming to me. You're a lawyer, you can help him. Tell him. He's not going to understand. He got stopped by the FBI. What? I did not get stopped. Well, what happened? All I was doing was sitting in Starbucks. With your friend Zarek. Is that that guy? My parents are wrong about him. Okay. You were sitting at Starbucks just drinking coffee. Zarek is talking to this barista who's on break. I can tell she's not getting the. I can tell she's not into him and he's not getting the message. She starts asking about our goofy hats and are we Muslims? And then she asks how we feel about Al Qaeda. And Tarek says, Americans are the ones who created Al Qaeda. Okay. You don't believe me? I mean, it's the just. The CIA trained the Mujahideen in Afghanistan. Those are the guys that became Al Qaeda. It's just a little more complicated. Actually, it's not, Uncle, not really. So what happened? So she got snippy. And Tarek got pissed. He said, this country deserved what it got and what it was going to get. She goes back to work and the next thing you know, the police are there. She called them. They cuff us, take us in, and two guys from the FBI are at the station waiting. We sit through this ridiculous interrogation. What did they ask you? Do we believe in jihad? Do we like to blow stuff up? How often do I read the Koran? Do we have girlfriends? Have I ever had sex? Do I watch porn? Do I hate America? They knew a lot about me. Where I'd gone to school, about mom and dad, where they were born. Like they already had a, a file. They brought up my immigration status. What about it? Except for renewal. Oh, they said that. He laughed. You laughed? I didn't mean to. What just happened? Were you trying to antagonize them? No! I mean, look, I know what they're doing. What are they doing? They're going into our community and looking for people whose immigration status are vulnerable. Then they push us to start doing stuff for them. Okay. So what, you don't believe that either? I didn't say that. I can't. You just need to talk to him. I'm gonna go. And I'm gonna stay. Please. I'm just going to get some air. Is she okay? Oh, I do not want to talk about that. Who are you calling? You, you can't call mom. She's gonna find out. I'm calling Ken. Ken? The lawyer in Amon Farid's case. Why? He already screwed things up. The imam is still in prison. Yeah, well, Ken will have a better idea on what to do. Hi, Ken. It's Amir Kapoor. Please call me back when you get this. It's urgent. Thanks. When you step out of your parents' house, you need to understand it is not a neutral world out there. And not right now. Not for you. You need to be more mindful about sending a different message. Than what? Than the one that landed you in, in, in an interrogation with the FBI. So now what? Let's hear what Ken has to say. I mean, it's not good. But at least they let you go. If he tells me I have to go into our mosque and pretend I'm playing some bullshit attack just to stay in this country- You do not know that's what's going to happen. I mean, if you spend any time with your own people- Excuse me? What would you do? If the FBI asked you to work for them, hmm? You are not there yet. What would you do? There are ways to let the authorities know you're on their side. But I'm not on their side. Well, you might want to rethink that. Because they make the rules. I knew this was a mistake. It's not a mistake. If you're not more careful, you will get deported. Yeah? Well, maybe that wouldn't be the worst thing. To a country you haven't known since you were eight years old. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe we never should have left in the first place. Maybe we never should have come no. to this one. There's a reason your father came here. Same reason my father did. They wanted to make a better life for themselves a and better their life? families, and to do it honestly, which isn't an option in Pakistan. You don't have a better life. What are you talking about? I know you have to leave this apartment. I know you got fired. I don't know what you think you know. I know what you did to her. How could you? You 
want something from these people that you will never get. I'm still your elder. You need to show me a little respect. Just because I'm telling you the truth doesn't mean I'm not showing you respect. You forgot who you are. Really? Abe Jensen. I changed it back. So now you think running around with a koofy on your head, shooting off your mouth in Starbucks, oh sitting in a mosque bemoaning the plight of Muslims. It is disgusting. Around. You know the thing, the one thing I can be sure about with you? You'll always turn on your own people. You think it makes these people like you more when you do that? They don't. They just think you hate yourself. And they're right, you do. I look up to you. You have no idea. I know. I know. No, you have no idea what it did to me. And if you can't make it with them, the, the prophet wouldn't be trying to be like one of them. He didn't conquer the world by copying other people. He made the world copy him. Conquer the world? That's what they've done. They've conquered the world. We're gonna get it back. That's our destiny. It's in the Quran. For 300 years, they've been taking our land, drawing new borders, replacing our laws, making us want to be like them, look like them, marry their women. They disgraced us. They disgraced us. And then they pretend they don't understand the, the rage we've got. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hossein. I'll handle it myself. No. Hossein, just...